uh, footage to, uh, to promote Taylor in the Korean market. So, uh, well, uh, I'm going to introduce uh, the Diane vice, Magania. Yes, that's <laughs> right, the vice president of the uh, in Taylor. No, let me correct yes. you, please. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm right. Director of International Sales, um, uh -huh. and my name is Diane Magania. So, yes. thank, thank you. you for thank letting me come see you. Thank you so much. Well, you're welcome. And um, you are, you know, you gave us a very good opportunity to deal with one of the finest guitars in the world, Taylor. And and for a very long time, we enjoyed the quality of the guitar. And what do you have? Um, do you have any uh, plan for Korean market and Korean customers to enjoy your guitars uh, even more? I think um, by making uh, a change which we've done recently in the Korean market, uh, there will be a better understanding of our guitars and a wider selection of the product will reach your customers. Um, there was, um, uh, I think up until recently, there were a lot of beautiful guitars that we made that unfortunately did not reach the market. Mm -hmm. And I think with the changes that we've currently taken, that currently taking place, that now the wide range of guitars will be reaching your customers. And that's what we want in the end, is our customers to be happy mm -hmm. and to give them some choices. And uh, one, uh, one more question. Uh, many uh, many customers in Korea are very interested in your uh, expression pickup, the ES pickup system. And do you uh, do you have any? Uh, uh, can you explain it uh, simply to uh, well understand to make uh, our customers well understand the pickup system? Thank you. That's a good question, and it leads me into introducing mm -hmm. what we call a silent salesman. And what that is, is actually a guitar that tells the story of what our expression system is without somebody having to do it all the time. First of all, and unique to Taylor Guitars, is a method called the expression system. No other uh, manufacturer has this. It's a patented design whereby the pickup is located under the fingerboard. That's a humbucker that's under the fingerboard. And the second pickup is our dynamic sensor. So right here you can see I mentioned a fingerboard and a dynamic sensor exclusively. There is no piezo pickup that's in this guitar. So our expression system is minus the piezo pickup, where a lot of guitars still have a piezo pickup. The purpose for the sensor, dynamic sensor, is because when someone plays, there's a vibration of the top going both up and down and the wood going sideways. So the sensor is glued to the top of the guitar and can pick up all the action as the customer is playing the guitar. So you can see here that Taylor is known basically because they have a bolt-on neck. By adding this new technology neck, we put a third bolt under the fingerboard. So you have two on the neck, one under the fingerboard. By that, it's created us to have an advantage to place a pickup underneath the fingerboard because a pocket is now created under the fingerboard. What you see here could look and mislead you that it might be a piezo pickup but it is what we call a grounding wire. So it can stop the humming, and it comes down here to a fuse that can help protect you from a bad shock if you were playing. You plug your instrument in and you touch another instrument, like a microphone that isn't grounded. You can become the conduit and have a bad shock. This system allows you to be prevented from the bad shock and take the abuse by use of this fuse that's in here. So that is our expression system. We have up here, simply put, you have your volume, bass, and treble. Um, you should always start the guitar in a detent position. And, um, and it's an easy, wonderful, true system to the guitar. You also have on the preamp board a switch where you have the capability of turning off the dynamic sensor because when some people play, their arm rubs the top of the guitar and they might want to reach inside and flick the switch and, here's the switch, and turn the um, sensor off. Mm -hmm. other, uh, made, uh, what other uh, major changes that, might, uh, that people uh, notice and, and enjoy the Taylor guitars in 2012? Mm -hmm. 
we have here traditionally a 700 series guitar hanging up here. You have one over here, and until 2012, you can see that it's rosewood, has a spruce top, has dot and lays in the fingerboard, and this year it's going to come this way. It's going to come with a new inlay pattern in the fingerboard instead of dots, and it's going to have a what we call a vintage burst on the top. Um, a very classic look onto the burst and it will also be on the back of the neck. So it's a great new change on our 700 series. If a customer wants it as it traditionally was with no vintage burst, that option is available. Just have to be through request and, and special order. The other thing, and I don't have a 600 series guitar here to show you, but 600 series guitar always had a um, amber stain on the back and sides so the wood had a um, warmth to it um, or a golden tone to it but many people have requested for it to be blonde so that the old natural wood would show up so all the 600 series are going to come this way without the amber stain on it but if somebody wants the amber stain or blue or honey burst, tobacco burst, orange, um, green, any other colors, they can have that. The options are available for them. The other thing that we've added to the new 2012 series um, for 2012 is we have added a 316 CE. So for the first time, you have a grand symphony now in the 300 series. I think I saw somewhere in here a 416 CE, but the nice thing is that only went to the 400 series, now you can have them for the 300 series. And other than that, the line hasn't changed that much, but um, through a lot of Andy Powers is a new designer working at Taylor Guitars in conjunction with Bob Taylor. A lot of Andy's new ideas are coming into the company and working with Bob. One of them is working at, we had on the back here, it's called a Builder's Reserve. There are only 30 sets made in the world. Um, it was a guitar and a matching amplifier. The amplifier was made at Taylor. Then the question comes, are there amplifiers that are going to come steadily? The answer is not at this point. But you can see by us making them in a limited run that we will also be making them in production probably in a year to a year and a half. The other thing that we did was a guitar similar to this um, for this year as a builder's reserve and it was a Koa guitar with a ukulele. I see all your ukuleles that you have here <laughs> and it's a market that we're gradually getting into. Probably in a year to a year and a half we will be making ukuleles in production. So thank you. Well, at least uh, can you uh, send a regards uh, regards to uh, Korean customers who really love Halo guitar? Thank you very much for your support for our, using our product. Um, it is so much appreciated. As your market grows, it becomes more important to us, and we want to be do the best we can for you and appreciate all the support you've given us to date. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.